Welcome to this video on how to create a Java program that allows you to create a scribble on the screen. My name's Andy Wicks and the code in this program was created by Dr Chris Walshaw, Dr Kate Finney and Dr Don Cowell of the University of Greenwich. But before we get into the code, let me show you that program working. Here is our canvas and on this canvas I can hold the mouse down and write some text. Hello, it's nice to see you. Now you might expect that the code for this would be quite complicated but in fact it isn't nearly as difficult as you might imagine. Notice that there are no listeners here. Those come in the class that we're going to create a little bit below and that class is the one that does all the work. It's called Scribble Canvas and we're going to create an instance of Scribble Canvas called Canvas. The program continues in exactly the same way as most other Java programs with its main and the constructor for the program that does all the usual things. Here we're going to set location relative and that means that it's going to center the frame on the screen. We're going to add canvas to the center of the border layout and since none of the other bits of the border layout are being used, only the center layout will be used. We're drawing there. Now let's get down to the program proper. This is the class Scribble Canvas and this is what does the work. It extends a class that comes with Java called Java AWT Canvas and we also need to implement some listeners. We need to listen out for the mouse and we need to listen out for mouse motion. So we need the mouse listener and the mouse motion listener and if we have those they require certain methods to be set and we'll look at the full list of those in just a moment. Now we're going to start by declaring a couple of variables. Last x and last y is where your cursor was last seen on the screen. They're the integer coordinates of the sharp bit of the pointer. The constructor for this class merely adds the listeners that we need to be able to tell whether something has happened. So it adds the mouse listener and it adds the mouse motion listener. With that done we can now get down to some work. When we first press the mouse we want to ensure that it remembers where we were. So we need to get the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of the sharp point of the mouse and put those into last X and last Y. Now all of this is happening at machine speed so when it comes to you dragging the mouse this, this happens almost immediately after the last mouse dragged event. This method is the one that does the drawing. First of all, it gets the current x and y coordinate of the sharp bit of the pointer and it puts those into two variables called x and y. It now knows where the pointer has moved to. So in mouse pressed, that's where it was. In mouse dragged, that's where it is now. Now we're going to set up a graphics object called g and we need G to be able to draw a line between the last X, the last Y, the current X and the current Y on the screen. In practice you won't have moved the mouse very far at all. Having done that it now sets the last X and last Y to be the current X and the current Y so that it knows where you were when you did this job 
just now. So when the mouse moves that little bit more, it changes the last X and the last Y again so that it keeps updating where the mouse is down. Now this is the bit that does the work, but we need other methods. Those listeners also require us to have a mouse moved method, a mouse clicked method, a mouse released method, a mouse entered method, and a mouse exited method. We don't have to code them. In this case, we don't need them. But those listeners do require them to be here, and your program will not work without them. So let me show you that program again. Here is that canvas that sits in the center part of a border layout, with none of the other bits of the border layout being used. By holding down the mouse, I can create graphics on the screen, and those graphics are created by the mouse moved method. So I can say goodbye, I can draw a little smiley face very badly on the screen, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.